everyone, welcome to this update. I hope you have been enjoying your Saturday thus far. Now we'll be taking a look at what is currently happening. We're looking at the infrared weather satellite right now. And we can see that large stretch of nothingness, really, in terms of rainfall activity because we've got a more stable, drier environment around with some of that Saharan dust. So that is kind of helping to prevent any major weather activity from taking place right now across uh, the main development region headed towards the Caribbean. However, if we look further to the left of the screen, we can see all that activity across parts of Mexico and the U.S. That is the next frontal system which is developing right now and it is going to be impacting the Caribbean. Some areas will experience the increased rainfall. There's going to be that cool down setting in as well. I've been talking about it and now it is certainly coming to fruition. So let's get straight into the updates and taking a closer look at the region we're looking at the visible satellite imagery we're seeing a few patches of clouds here and there but for the most part it's uh it's pretty much dry and quiet right now so sunny and windy across many caribbean islands and even over into parts of central america and the other offshore islands right now in the region but things are going to be changing within the coming days so first let's take a look at the saharan earlier forecast then we'll talk about the rainfall forecast the winds the cool down and we'll be looking at the simulated satellite imagery of what could happen over the course of the coming days Okay, Saharan air layer forecast. This was the forecast for uh, this afternoon, 2 p.m. And we're seeing all these brown shadings around. So we still have some of that dust in parts of the Caribbean. It has been impacting eastern islands for a while and more is on the way. So uh, the Lesser Antilles, the ABC islands, and even areas as far as Jamaica, Hispaniola, and Puerto Rico are likely to be uh, experiencing some of these hazy conditions as we head through the rest of today and even into tomorrow as well. And let's not leave out South America because there has been a lot of dust around and even for parts of Southern Central America. As we head into tomorrow evening, there we can see some of that dust, not a very dense concentration, but there is going to be some dust moving towards the Western Caribbean, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, even for parts of the Bahamas, Jamaica as well. And there's that next plume, which is moving into parts of northeastern South America. So for the Guyanas, as well as the Windward Islands, Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, uh, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and even for Grenada. And stretching right through to Africa, there is a lot more and a higher concentration closer to the continent. As we're going to be heading into Tuesday, though, there is going to be a decreased amount of dust in the Caribbean. We still see some lingering around here and there near the ABC Islands and even in, uh, in the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles. But for the most part, there's uh, likely to be a break in that dust around that time. And again, that front is going to be moving down and it's going to be a contrast compared to what we have experienced this week where there hasn't been much happening. A few showers here and there, but it's been windy. It's been sunny as well. Hasn't been on the very cold side. I mean, the evenings and nights are cool, but uh, throughout the day, it's just the typical warm weather we're used to in the Caribbean. Heading on to the rainfall forecast now. So we're seeing that it's not too colorful in the Caribbean. By the way, this goes out uh, through the rest of today and into tomorrow morning. So we can see that it is not too colorful. Some spots of greens and these gray shadings popping up. So it's going to be as it is now. Quiet for the most part with a few showers that may move through. But we see that it is more active over in parts of the Gulf with that frontal system developing and even in the vicinity of the Eastern Pacific as well. So as we uh, zoom closer to the area here to the US, Central America, we can see more of these colorful shadings and some of the highest rainfall amounts are likely to be offshore. So where we see those pink shadings, that is indicative of rainfall quantities up to around four inches or so at maximum throughout the time period. So more rainfall likely in parts of Mexico and even the westerly tip of Cuba headed towards Florida and near Grand Bahama thereabout. And in the wake of that frontal system, winds are also kicking up in the Gulf. So as we head into later this evening, uh, winds could be up to 40 knots with much higher gusts. And across the Caribbean on a whole, it is quite windy. So winds anywhere from around 10 going up to 20, 25 knots, especially near the ABC Isles, where some of the, gu uh, the strongest gusts are in the Caribbean at this time. But it has been windy for the Lesser Antilles, even headed towards Jamaica, offshore Honduras, and near the Bay Islands as well. Now this is a look at the simulated 
infrared satellite imagery as we head into the next couple of days. This is the forecast from GFS. So as we're going to be heading into tomorrow, there we see all that activity making its way through. Uh, much of it remaining to the north of the Caribbean. Nonetheless, it is going to be influencing the rainfall, bringing that increased precipitation to some areas. And this is the forecast through Tuesday evening. So the accumulated rainfall expected throughout that time, not all expected in just one day. We can see these colorful shades in Jamaica, Cuba near the Cayman Islands, over in parts of Central America, Mexico, of course, Guatemala, Honduras, even some spots in Costa Rica, Panama as well. We see some of those purple shadings popping up, up to two and a half or even three inches of rainfall in accumulation. And even for the Bahamas as well, very colorful within the area. So that frontal system is going to be resulting in increased rainfall across the region. But over in the east, it is going to be a bit on the drier side. Again, this is the rainfall accumulation, and we're not seeing those very colorful shadings, yellows, oranges popping up for the lesser Antilles. It's mostly those greens and the grays as well. So passing showers at the most expected across the Caribbean with days being mostly sunny. And as we head down towards northern South America, uh, the Guyanas, we're seeing that much is not really expected there as well. So it's going to be a similar story with some showers here and there at times. But as for a significant increase in rainfall, that is not in the forecast for the next couple of days. Finally, the cool down as the frontal boundary is going to be passing, we'll be having those below average temperatures setting into the Caribbean. So this is what is expected for Tuesday. And this is a temperature anomaly map, which is showing how much the temperature is expected to vary from what is typical. And these shadings of blues going down to those purples indicate below average temperatures. Meanwhile, the warmer colors, that pale yellow going to the orange red indicates above average temperatures. And the whites mean that Pretty, uh, temperatures are pretty much normal within those areas. So for parts of Central America, the Yucatan headed towards the Cayman Islands, Cuba as well, parts of the Southeast U.S. and Bahamas, temperatures are likely to be cooler than normal and this moves further into the Caribbean as we head throughout the week. This is as we head into uh, early Thursday morning. We're still seeing all these blue shadings around, especially for much of the greater Antilles and Central America. So those below average temperatures are expected behind that frontal boundary. Uh, that rainfall increase is expected across some areas as well. And in terms of the wave heights out there, the seas, it's going to be quite unsettled and it is even unsettled uh, right now uh, offshore the eastern Caribbean islands and in parts of the central Caribbean. But in terms of major wave action that is not forecast in the Caribbean, that's mostly going to be to the north of the region offshore the eastern U.S. And so guys, that is what is expected as we head into the next couple of days. That's what I wanted to share with you in this update video and I really do hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise.